we can use in the Java programming. So by definition of volatile variable, if two threads, suppose T1 and T2, are accessing the same object and updating a variable which is declared as volatile, then it means T1 and T2 can make their own local cache of the object except the variable which is declared as volatile. So the volatile variable will have only one main copy which will be updated by different threads and updation by one thread to the volatile variable will immediately reflect to the other thread. So the volatile variable is used in the th thread context. Okay, so this line is important. The volatile variable is used in the thread context. So by definition, I'll create two threads, thread T1 and T2. So I have two threads, thread T1 is print volatile variable and thread T2 which increment the volatile variable. Okay. So the task of the increment volatile variable is to increment the volatile variable. Okay. And after incrementing, we are just printing what is the volatile variable. And just have a dummy sleep. And in case of print volatile variable, it will print what is being incremented. So this if condition is just for uh, making uh, like uh, both volatile variables are the local copy and the incremented was the same or not. Okay, so declare to declare volatile variable, you have to use keyword volatile. So if we run this program so we can see that incremented volatile variable is 1 then 2 printed is 2 the same copy is maintained incremented volatile variable is 3 then print is 3 and the same copy is maintained by two different thread so print is 4 incremented is 4 okay so we can see the same copy is being maintained when we use volatile variable So if you don't use this volatile keyword, if I try to run this same program again, so it is only incrementing the volatile variable. Okay. To infinite. Why it is happening? Because it is failing this condition. It is not printing because of this. The volatile variable will have only one main copy which will be updated by the different thread and updation by one thread to the volatile variable will immediately affect to the other thread. So people usually get confused the volatile variable with use of synchronized and other stuff. So this is not the case. It is used in the thread context and use it properly. Thanks for watching the video. If you have any question do let me know and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you.